Good evening. <clears throat> Thank you. So, Jason joke about lawyers. We always make fun of lawyers until we need a good one, right? That's my response. Ask a lot of our officers right now that are in trouble. They need good lawyers, right? And you need good lawyers in order to understand the law, to know exactly what your rights are so that they can defend you like I'm going to, right? I just want to tell you a little bit of story. You know, I sing the same song that Jason sings, so I'm not going to sing that same song again. You already know what we stand for, right? Lower taxes. Right? Smaller government. Law and order. Right? And for COVID, we understand that it's difficult. We understand that it's dangerous. But the American people are very smart. We will do the right thing. Let's get our economy going. Right? Let's get our job going. Allow us to help ourselves. Right? Like when the DFL was still very good with JFK. Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. They forgot that. They need to let us do what we can to help our country. You can't lock us down. We're smart. We know how to distance like tonight. Right? So please. <laughs> Respect us. I know the American people are very bright. One of the greatest governor I heard spoke so far about the Mount, Mount Rushmore, right? The governor, no. I say, she say no to anything, right? <laughs> no to lockdown. Governor, no. Naomi, no, I think that's her name. She's, she didn't lock down. South Carolina, South, South Dakota, not Carolina. South Dakota did just fine, all right? The number just fine. And they ask her, hey, Governor, no. What, do you, what, what was the outcome? Why did you say no to lockdown? And she said, you know, the American people are very smart. They know exactly what to do. All we need to do as government is give them the facts, right? And the people will know how to help themselves. And that's what this governor in this state still need to do, right? Yeah. Respect Minnesotans. We're just as smart. I think if not smarter than South Dakotans. <laughs> I'm here to tell you about how lucky you are and how lucky I am to be an American. America is the greatest country on earth. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of things that we can still fix, but we are so good at so many things. Do you know why I say that? I'll tell you why I tell you that. Because where I came from. Right now, millions of people, as an immigration attorney, millions of people lined up wanting to become American. Right? Give yourself a nice round of applause for being great American, that everybody want to be who you are. Amen. Do we have problem? Yes, we do. But we have solution. We will find solution for our problem. We will overcome this COVID crisis as well. About 50 years ago, I was only two years, approximately seven, eight years old. We lost our freedom. And I, want, I talk about, a lot about freedom why I'm running, because of freedom. We lost our freedom to communism. When the communists came into our country, they promised everything. They also came in dressing white. The first thing they tell us is, we want your guns. You don't need your guns anymore. We're gonna protect you. The second thing is, you don't need your police anymore. We'll take care of that. Number three, we will tell you what to do. Everything that you do, you must tell us. And not only that, they turn the family against each other. Children start fighting with parents. Parents are fighting with each other. They created this uh, atmosphere where trust, 
becomes a huge problem and it breaks up the, the family. Does this sound familiar to you? Yeah. That God doesn't exist. Okay? That God doesn't exist. That what exists is the state. And the state is the highest office that everyone can belong to. And before you know it, they take away your mom, they take away your dad in the name of national security. You don't have a say. So we left. We walked for two weeks. I was a little boy, about seven years old. I carried in front of me a duck for food, just in case we don't kill them yet. We want to keep them alive, you know? <laughs> right? There's no refrigerator. So I, I carry a live duck on my, on my, my hands in front of me like this, and I carry a little bag of rice. And we walk forever, right? We keep on walking. And, and they say, why are you walking? To be free, to follow the legendary General Vang Pao that's gonna take us to freedom. What is freedom? We have that before, before the communists came. We were poor, but we didn't kill each other. We didn't have TV and radio. We loved and we share everything. We believed in everything. That's what we were like until the communists took over our country, right? So we got to the river, like the sound of music, I always say, right? We climb every mountain, cross every stream, follow every rainbow until we find America, right? That's exactly what we did. And so when we got to the river, there was soldier everywhere, and my father hired a bunch of people that throw us, they lined up like, like uh, 10 men or like this from the street down to the river, and they would throw us with the, they throw me along with the, well, our luggages into the river. There were approximately 20 plus people, and by the time the, the, our luggages and all the children and mom and dad got onto that canoe, it started sinking, right? And now my dad said, Get, get the water out, get the water out. So we're using our hands, throwing the water out of the canoe. And as we do this, the motor starts. The sooner the motor starts, the soldier heard this. And so the soldier were running behind us, getting the machine guns ready. And you can hear them clicking their, their machine guns together, getting ready to shoot us. Because they kill a lot of people trying to cross the river. We crossed the middle line, we were all praying. We crossed the middle of the river, they could not longer shoot us, and we crossed into Thailand and into freedom. And here we are. Came into America as a refugee. Study hard, work hard. Achieve the American dream. Yesterday I was a refugee. Today I live the American dream. Tomorrow I'm gonna die for America. And America is the greatest country because people like me are standing up and people like Alexander are standing up. Alexander and I are from the same boat. He's a refugee and I'm a refugee. Only in America would a refugee boy come here with nothing, with the clothes on his back, and then someday to achieve the American dream and both of them are running for office. Amen to America. This is the greatest country on earth. I love America, that is why I'm running. I support all the, the Republican platform, just in case you wonder whether or not I, I know what I, where I stand. Read the Republican platform, I stand for it. And I wanna end with this. People ask me, does black life matter? Absolutely, right? Yeah. Black life matters. Yeah. We, we never want any black people to get killed. And Hmong life matters. Yeah. And white life matters. Yeah. Nigerian life matters. Yeah. Hispanic life matters. And even the life of the unborn matters. Yeah. I need your help. Jason needs your help. We can talk like this and we get all riled up. But if we do not get out there and vote, get out the vote and run, and vo run with it, and, and execute our right, we will not be in office and I will not be able to help you. If you look at what my opponent is doing, Jason just told me she's out there saving the birds and the bees up north. We are dying here in CD4. We need a congressman, a woman, 
who's going to listen to the people, shows up here and talk to you. I want to listen to what you need to say so I know what the issues are and I need to connect you to Washington, D.C. and the resources. That's what a Congress person is supposed to do. I will do exactly just that. And so with that, I want to thank you for giving me the time to meet with all of you tonight. I'm, I'm going to be here for a little bit. If you have questions, uh, feel free to approach me. I'll be more than happy to meet with you. But please help me, and, and uh, we're going to do everything. Um, the Republican endorsed candidates are going to work together as a team, and including myself and Jason and the president. We're going to make sure that Alexander becomes the next senator for this region. Thank you. Yeah.